Om Sri Sai Ram. 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 To all the light bodies. Sai Ram. Do you all feel pressure when I say that? To all the light bodies. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay. Today we are going to talk about something which I think many of you want to know. And also this is like a recap of everything that we have been doing. So today is a very important session. Today also, I like to uh, discuss with you all my dilemma. I'm having a little dilemma now. Since we are one, I consider all of you as my monad. We are one monad. We are traveling together. Just like the Psi Cosmic Craft, we are extending together. Maybe in a slower pace than the Psi Cosmic Craft, but nevertheless, we are extending. Uh, many of you are experiencing changes in yourself. Uh, some are even activating their uh, cosmic abilities. Um, some uh, the structure of thinking has changed, which in a way directly correlates to your DNA change. Because your DNA change will cause changes in thought patterns yeah? and your uh, energetic attunement within yourself you will also experience. So, I would like to start with just uh, reading what I posted in Quantum Extension this morning, this afternoon actually. Um, if you all remember, I posted about love and light. Okay, I'll just read one time the great invocation. From the point of light, your light body, eh? from your light body's point of view, your light body is coming from the cosmos actually, cosmic light body and your light body is somewhat uh, aligned. There is a, a silver cord in between, okay? So you, have, you are directly, all of you are directly connected to your cosmic self. Uh, so when he says, from the point of light, he's talking about your source light through you. Within the mind of God, from the point of view of light, you are able to see the mind of God. If you are seeing from the point of view of mind, you can't see the mind of God. You can only see your mind. Okay. So from, from the point of view of light, which is the cosmic light coming through you, you can see the mind of God. Entire unfoldment, entire universe, entire world is his mind. Let light stream forth into the minds of men. Now, see, there's mind of God and mind of men. Now, all of a sudden, you have been put in a position where you are supposed to shine forth the light of God into 
the light, the minds of men. So you have a new role to play all of a sudden, right? This is called what I call bailout <laughs> because I got bailed out many times. Only God can do that. Right? Divine intervention, he grabbed you and put you somewhere else. And I've Swami has done that so many times to me that I know when it happens. <laughs> it's so obvious to me. Yeah? I know I've been bailed out. Okay? And I know many people have been bailed out. Yeah? He bailed out to a position where he can, we can do his, um, his mission. Yeah? And that's what I have been always praying. I know many people here who are who, who's praying the same thing. Tommy, please make use of me as an instrument, your instrument, please, please. And we'll keep bugging Swami until he gives, right? So this is what it is. So now we are put in a position where we can have light to shine forth towards the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. Now, where, where is this light coming from? If it's descending from earth, uh, on earth, that means coming from outside, isn't it? Okay, it's coming from outside. From the point of love within the heart of God. Wow. This is God's love flowing through you and you are seeing the world through the eyes and love of God. Let love stream forth into the hearts of men. That means it's the cosmic love. It's, a cosmic, it's God's love flowing through us into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. This is Christ consciousness. Christ consciousness is available for everyone. Everyone who tunes in to Christ consciousness. Of course, there's so many ways of tuning in to Christ consciousness. Yeah. And everyone has their own unique way of reaching it. Okay, so from the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men. The purpose of which the master know and serve. Even the master know about this will and they are serving the will. Who are these masters? We are talking about above now. These are Extension masters. These are masters of advanced civilizations. These are extended uh, beings. Yeah, he's talking about this. The purpose of which the master know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men. Let the plan of love and light work out. And may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Yeah, this is a very meaningful invocation. I think that we should invoke this every day and to really feel what he's talking about. Okay. Now. I shall discuss about my dilemma with all of you. We are monet, we are family, right? So let's talk. <laughs> okay, we have a bit of a situation here. We have been, many of us are here with uh, Bhagawan Satisai Baba's grace. We have been brought in a way because all of us, many of us connect uh, through him and we all know each other purely because of him. Yeah, If it's not in our life, we, there's no way we can be here uh, together. I mean, we can be somewhere else where it will be another platform. Yeah, This is this platform 
is 100% his because under his uh, inspiration, his guidance and his uh, uh, blessings. Okay. Swami has been telling us, love all, serve all. Swami has been saying, fill your heart with love, love is God. Help ever, hurt never. And he also says that all is God. You, is, you are God, I am God. We are all God. See God everywhere, see God in food, see God in time, see God in money. And another time, you will say, okay, let's go do service. Let's do service. Okay. Serve, queen, serve. Serve everybody. And while serving, he will tell again, see myself in the other person. I am him is one. You are serving. I am serving through you. See, I tell you, Swami is the master of masters. He is a Zen master. He is very... Brother Julius, your voice is cracking. Vibration is enough to tell you. Julius, we didn't hear anything from the point you said Zen Master. From Zen Master onwards, we heard nothing. Okay. All right. I will repeat a bit. He has his very unique and powerful way of teaching. See, he's... If we were to look into it, there is only two things Swami is talking about. One is love. One is light. Love, light. Love, light. Love, light. Love, light. See me in all. He is saying see, see. Not think. Not believe, even believe, he doesn't use much. He just said, see, see me in all. See me in yourself. And if there's any meditation he does, he said, do Jyoti meditation. He is really guiding us for major extension. If, you, if we really follow what he says, in extension, you will fly. You are going to hit the bell right away, the gold bell. He has really trained us. He has trained us to love unconditionally. He has trained us to see God in all including ourselves. He says, I'm above you, inside you, around you. You just love God. Your love, don't channel to the world. You channel to the world, you do your duty, but love God. <laughs> the way he says this, right, is so, so beautiful huh? and so loving. See, love God. So your love, when you love God, what happens? Because God is loving us now in, in tremendous high voltage intense way. He loves us to a point where we cannot imagine. You say a thousand mothers, it's a million mothers and even more. His love is cannot be comprehended because it's so intense. It's so, uh, it's so strong. Not everyone can handle this kind of love. 
unless you give. You receive, you give. You, give. you receive, you give. Receive, give. That's the only way we can handle high voltage. It's the only way. You have once you receive, you cannot store it. You cannot say, okay, let me enjoy this for a while. Okay, you can. Swami will, will allow maybe five minutes. Okay, five minutes is considered a long time, you know. Because if you if you enjoy more than that, you will you lose yourself. So it's good to receive, give, receive, give. And after a while, we become a pure instrument. Empty vessel. It goes right through. This is the best. Because there's a lot more. Huh? It's not like there's very little and you need to enjoy it and treasure it and maybe take home and, and share a bit with your friend. There's a lot more. We cannot hold this. It's, it's too much. And many people need it. Okay, many people need it. So... My dilemma is, you see, we have love and light, right? Many people are actually um, experiencing love, enjoying love, seeing the power of love. You are able to know that love is the way. You know that you are love. And I so know your love. And I know that all of you are beautiful varieties of love. Right? I enjoy it as much as you are. What about light? Where is the light? Yes, you have love. Without light, you can't see oneness. You can see only varieties. You see, um, you see separation. When you see separation, you can't really, uh, you can't see oneness. Where, where is the oneness? Okay, oneness in love, maybe. You say, okay, that's, love is one. But are you seeing it? When you turn on the news, why do we ever turn it on anyway? <laughs> to see light, to see God in all. is what we need to do. Seeing God, we are very lucky here. Eh? We have we have seen Swami. Right? So we kind of know how how God is, right? God is like that. Okay, we, we and we, we we are so naturally loving God, right? We are seeing God, we have seen him and we somewhat when, when Swami says, see me in all, we somehow can uh, superimpose. Superimpose and maybe later experience and, and we feel uh, uh, elevated and, you know, once in a while, maybe once in one year. And we go on talking about it for the next 20 years, the same thing. Of course, there are many who are experiencing more, yeah? once in six months, once in three months, once in one month, once every day, more and more are experiencing him, 
his presence in our life every day every day We are able to feel his love. This is love. Next thing is, we have to see his presence. When you see his presence, it's going to be constant after a while, CIA. Constant integrated awareness of God. This is God realization. Okay, if you reach that stage, where you're constantly aware of God's presence in your life every day, you have achieved God consciousness. Yeah. Okay, from this point of view, okay, let's say we have achieved God consciousness. When you are all of a sudden distracted by the mind, you will know it immediately. When you're not in God consciousness, you're distracted by the mind, you don't even know it. The whole day can be like that and you don't know. And we think that this is life. We think that this is normal. So God consciousness can give us consciousness of ourselves, of our mind, of our senses, of the mass unconscious, the mass, the collective subconscious. You can see. Because you are in God consciousness, you can see all this, like matrix. It's like you 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 can see the numbers. It's not that this is such a big deal to see the numbers, but it's a big deal for me to be in God consciousness because I enjoy it so much. I love God consciousness. I have loved it so much till I got kicked out by Swami because I, I want to be fully into it. This just happened one month ago. Okay, so we are very blessed, we are very lucky to have seen God. Why don't we utilize this punyam, this blessing, to see God constantly? Because you have seen. Now it's just a matter of make it more constant. And it's so important, uh, this one, because we, we just don't know how important this is. When you're seeing God, you're not seeing the world. When you're not seeing the world, you're no longer feeding the world. You're no longer giving energy to the world. And a lot of times, our world, which we are giving energy to, it's already going. It's already changing. We need to let go fast enough. Because if you don't let go fast enough, you will start putting energy again into the same pattern. And that pattern is not going to last really because we have moved, we have shifted, we are in fifth dimension. Now even the call for the seventh dimension, Asta Kuman has just released the message yesterday. Raise your energy to seventh dimension. So the best way to handle all these transitions, interdimensional changes, the best way, my opinion, God, hold on to God. You have to hold on because you are shifting, you are moving house, you are, you are migrating. 
migrating migration time if god is in our life we are very lucky because we are moving with him and he is moving with us so it's a it's a divine experience okay if you don't have god and you're shifting house you're migrating i don't know what experience we'll get we might get panic we might get lost things and angry about it a lot of things can happen ah huh? so this we are in extension now ah huh? it is it is a uh, it will become a common phase for many people extension is happening yeah even biologically not only in the mind even in physical is changing so if we have god in our life and we are loving him and he is loving us and he is taking us by the hand and we are holding him by the hand beautiful proceed go to the front front you have to go to the front you can't wait for you know oh uh, it, it, you you also extension now uh, you you've gone this place now i let me tell you one thing dear monet this craft is flying as i speak this platform the voice of collective consciousness the global akanda rudra prayana is all crafts they are all energetic crafts which has able to hold frequency able to hold at certain space and able to rise further for the collective why do you think you can do that because lord rudra is here this is the part again huh? are you aware of this uh, this is this is the question are you aware that lord rudra is holding this station Yo Lagunyasa says that. And the Veda scripture says that. Yo Rudra you cannot chant. Rudra only can chant. And you have chanted few months, 24 hours. Who is chanting? So Rudra is doing a lot of things. this day before yesterday i don't know if i should say this <laughs> yeah rudra wave when he enters one country is tremendous impact right, on the country cleans up the place okay so when rudra wave comes like this kind of uh, intensity it, it cleans up the wave right? and one of the symbol of what needs to be cleaned up has been struck by lightning <laughs> and after that the next day our dear brother shikha pudapalli rudra will come in his thunder and he will wipe out including the guards too these are all signs but you know it's not something which we should be to carry it away with we just have to know and and be salute that lord rudra is here yeah and he is real he is not some fairy tale somewhere he is in action now and it is uh, and he is holding the collective consciousness he is raising it up to such a level which uh which is the purpose of our global akanda rudra parayana is written there to uplift the human humanity into divine consciousness this is our prayer 
to uplift humanity into divine consciousness. So all of us are in the flight. We are in the craft. We are rising in energy. Energy, we are rising, all of us. Yeah. And some of you are, are, are waking up to this. Yeah. I have told this from the start, but of course I can't uh, push this idea onto you too fast because you think I'm mad. So, but as we progress, I, I see what can be told to you. So I just help and I just deliver. That's all I do. Yeah, I see, I can, I think this can, this message can, can be delivered to everyone. So I deliver. And this is a craft. Yeah, everyone is rising in, in energetically vibration. Yeah, this is when the COVID-19 happened, many people came to know that we need to raise our vibration in order to survive this pandemic because COVID-19's uh, uh, vibration is of a certain frequency. And if the fear frequency of the collective consciousness is, uh, is, is intense, it will go down and it will match. When it match, Tremendous white power. So we have been guided to raise the consciousness, the energetic uh, frequency. So with Rudram, you know, it's very powerful. It's amazing. And this continuous uh, raise of, uh, of course, with all the others too, you know, and Gayatri chanting is there. Samastaloka chanting is there 24 hours. You know, so many countries taking part. These are all very powerful uh, exercises sadhanas and all the more when we are we are we are utilizing the eclipse where it is multiplied a uh, hundred times and thousand times and we have the blessing of uh Bhagawan. and behind Bhagawan is the, the galactic family <laughs> so you can imagine uh, what kind of uh, intensity is this this is this one will go down in history uh, all this what's happening here so right now since we are monad since we are flying together since we are all one can we do something together can we at least for this monad Recognize that we are all one in Bhagavan Sri Sati Sai Baba. Can we all feel this oneness? Okay. Bhagawan Sati Sai Baba is for me right now a white light because he has just shown me like uh, one week ago. Before I used to see him as a, a golden light, but now somehow uh, we went to Shambhala and in Shambhala he flashed the white light which I was very, uh, I was new to. And I knew uh, from then on, he is the white light. Okay. And the white light actually doesn't have name. Okay. So can we all one in oneness? Tell ourselves that we are one in this white light. We are this one white light. Yes. We... yes. Yes? Yes. Thank you. Yes. All right. Thank you. Yes. 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 Yes.
Any more? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, Samudra, yes. <laughs> Sorry, um, okay. Thank you, thank you. Any more? <laughs> I just love this. Uh, this this is important. Yeah, we are on the transition now. We are in a crossroad, no? Actually, so this is very important, and it's very good to hear that everyone is together in this. Any more? Yes, me too. Yes, me too. Thank you. <laughs> great, great, great. Okay, this is awesome. <sighs> all right, since we are all light now, since we are one in light, let's read this again. From the point of light, that means from our point of view now, because we are already light, right? All of us are light. So we, we are, he's talking about us. <laughs> From the point of light within the mind of God. We are one monad. Huh? You see the monad's light is very powerful. Okay, It multiplies. Because we are, if everyone, now everyone of us has said, have said that we are light, we will become one spaceship. It's, it's very good to think of this as a spaceship because a spaceship is so apt, is so uh, appropriate uh, because it can fly and it can be together. Yeah, and it's covered right, in round and and it's very suitable because and it's very comfortable. So it's not like a bus. Okay, it's, it it is a spaceship. So it's very good to think. Uh, to 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 imagine or even to know and to to feel and to even see that we are in this one spaceship which is created by Swami and uh, it's Swami's energy this light this light created by this light and this this light's energy that is holding all of us now okay let light stream forth into the minds of men. Okay, we need to fly already. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, sorry, Sister Vladka, I think we need to fly because it's we need to be in one position here. Sister Vladka, are you okay? Okay. Can we do this? I'm going to, because there's a portal open as of yesterday, okay? Uh, yesterday, what happened was 12 o'clock, there is a global meditation. And in this global meditation, uh, it's actually a call uh, from the galactic family. Yeah? So it's largely involved of in, uh, the, the extended masters, the Galactic Federation, uh, the Brotherhood of the Stars, Asta Command, uh, Pleiadian Council. We have uh, a lot of these Andromedians. They are they call for this global meditation. Okay. So at in Malaysia time it was twelve o'clock, and uh, I was uh, called to broadcast this. So I immediately. Uh, the plate, the, the audio, this audio is very unique. Huh? There's a whitewash at the back. So it's a very powerful uh, sound. It's on my Facebook. You can actually play it yeah, anytime. It's a very, very powerful meditation. It runs for over an hour. So when I played it, uh, I, I put it over Facebook. Okay. So when I put it over Facebook, somehow it triggered, it triggered a frequency because it's a, it's a worldwide, uh, for all those who are connected to the masters, they do that at the same time. Okay? So immediately in one hour, we are connected to a very powerful grid. I did not expect that at all. I was, uh, uh, 
I was just trying to meditate into it, right? So I I I turned on the audio, I turned on the video, video is the Swami's chair, right? In fact. And when I was meditating, all of a sudden I saw it's actually this chair at the back of me. You know, I usually like to, okay, I can do it right now for you to see. Okay, this is what I usually like to do. Uh, okay, this, you can't really see. There's one line here and there's a light here, right? And this, I mean, now you can't see it, but, uh, and this light started moving up and down. This actually here is a picture of um, the earth. That light started moving. And I was, and I could feel that Swami is doing some work. He's, he's cleaning, he's removing a lot of uh, um, uh, energies which are uh, pushing it down, pushing down the earth. And I managed to witness it. And I immediately text the cosmic craft people and I said, hey, check out what Swami is doing. So I, it's in Zoom, right? It's in this station actually. So when they came in, a number of them came in from the crew and immediately Swami said, fly. So I was not ready. Okay, so I'm sorry for those who are, uh, you know, and I posted in a Sai Makaba craft that we are heading to 111 base. That's what I, because in case I can take any anyone else, I would usually love to take them because I, I want more people to experience this. This is very tremendous, right? So I posted immediately in, in the Sai Makaba craft, uh, calling for anyone, and even the Sai Cosmic craft, last call. Okay. So we managed to leave the Earth's spheres uh, from the Tibetan base, and we managed to proceed to the 111 base. Okay, 111 base is a, it's a synchronicity energy which uh, a lot of people have been feeling. You know, when they all of a sudden see 1111 on their phone or on their, on their watch or on the car plates, yeah? these are all, uh, the, the synchronicity is a bit too, uh, uh, too obvious that it's not, <laughs> that it's too obvious that it's something more than this, right? There's something great. There's something uh, um, is trying to tell you something, some messages are trying to come to you, right? So we were at that base and at that base, Swami appeared. Okay. And and Psy Cosmic Craft is his, yeah. he's the one who created it. And the entire craft is held by his energies. And, uh, and quite a few person started having experiences in the craft, okay? Uh, all right, uh, some of them are here. Maybe you can share. Uh, Rangaji, are you here? Or anyone who Sairam. Sairam, yes, okay. Thank you for coming. This well uh, yes, yesterday, um I mean I accidentally saw this uh, uh, you know call for uh, joining this uh, you know spacecraft. Um, actually I think it's a cosmic connect. Because that was just a few moments earlier, I was talk, I was chatting with Brother Vikash, uh, Vikash Parmar, UK, you know, um, about uh, about their Rudram program or whatever. I mean, we were discussing something, and suddenly I see this uh, flash coming that uh, you know, please join. Then I go into my meditative uh, state, and then I don't know. Trust me, I mean, uh, I don't. I, I just went with the flow. 
then uh, swami um, i mean there's a the craft is going up that's what i'm feeling and i'm just asking swami see this is there was a great great lesson in in uh, you know what i felt which i will come to that a little later so when i see i see on the cross jesus christ you know in a, in a, as if he is crucified then swami is there he was fully i mean full blown you know uh, uh, all i mean full blown smile so happy so happy you know he's so happy in the uh, in extremely in state of supreme bliss so uh, then we board the craft when we board the craft i see swami and then then in the inside the craft i see jesus you know in the in in, in, in with an arab uh, uh, attire and then swami very proudly saying uh, look jesus they are all my boys they are going to do my work okay then uh, who are all who all i see there i see brother julius then i can recollect uh, i mean there were many but who i could recollect um mm, brother dore was there then saha was there saha uh, was there with the boy was introducing us uh, introducing us to jesus yeah he's introducing they're all my boys they're going to do my work uh, look at my boys they're all my boys they're going to do my work then i see brother saha he's having a uh, black trousers and a white shirt and on the white shirt he's got a, a black strip along the button line yeah and then he's uh, standing as if just waiting for swami's command and swami so much of pride you know that happy pride in him look there my boys uh, and then at that point in time chulan comes yeah with two bags full i don't know what he has got in that and swami is telling they're all my boys they're going to do my work and jesus is also smiling yeah then this is the lesson you know i am thinking boss is this um, is it my mind or is it my heart so i'm asking swami swami is this is my experience real then i get an immediate answer from from my heart space you fool you fool this is real yeah and again look at the monkey mind see swami himself from inside is telling it is real then i ask him i'm asking swami what is the advice you would give to the whole group you know we are we have gathered here what is advice for the group he said go and do my work then again i ask him swami what is i mean what do we do he said go and spread my love go spread my love go do my work then immediately i ask uh, brother julius you know i message him i saw all this is it true then he said yeah it is true because then he said thank you when i could spot uh you know had a similar experience for sort of you know is when i could spot uh and thank you for reminding or bringing this you know i could also speak then this uh, morning i was talking to brother i sent a message to brother saha say look saha i had an experience like this it was so good uh and then again i had this you know conflict between the heart and the mind uh and then uh, saha then sent a message saying that bro this is a great great lesson for all of us saying that we have to go only by what the heart says and this play of the mind you know which brings in this doubt yeah and please go by the intelligence of your heart and what it says is true and then uh, then we landed when we landed i could see brother julius you know like an astronaut in a blue and a gray gear with a helmet you know uh, in his hand and uh, a crew is by walking along with him i don't know who all were there you know like he's like a captain you know he's coming like uh, like yuri gagarin yeah the first man to go on space i mean that is what i could see him um then again i asked him then he said ranga you have experienced uh, and that is true so this was my experience and then uh, the message what swami said go do my work then i again i asked him what is at work go and spread my love Thank you so much, Ranga ji. You know, I'm so happy Swami showed Ranga ji all this. Ah, uh, one more thing, Sahar. No, uh, one more thing, Julius. I, I, I would like to mention. 
See immediately after mm-hmm. this, you know, the the two bags of chulan I see. Yeah, and he's like, uh, like, like, like he's doing very serious work. Swami uh, perhaps is commanded something, and he's got two bags. Then I was just wondering what is in these two bags, and that moment, that moment, your brother Julius writes a message saying that Swami is giving prasadam to everyone. Then I assume that is a prasadam which Swami asked him to carry. I don't know. You, Julius, can perhaps elaborate on this. Yeah, that's a prasadam. Uh, Sister Vlaka immediately felt, uh, tasted it in the mouth, and I also tasted it. Uh, you just have to taste it. <laughs> you just have to believe and taste it. It's there, and it's and it's for everyone, huh? Because the Sai Cosmic Craft, it's really a um, very incredible craft. Uh, Helped by Swami, helped the entire uh, operations every step of the of the way. He is the one who uh, illuminate the path, and I can I can see uh, each step where Swami is. And Swami has given us this amazing map, which uh, many people are still trying to figure out what it is. But somehow, when I look at the map, I can see. Uh, uh, path light, you know, like it, it illuminates. Yeah. So these are all uh, something which you know, if you you need to do something, uh, you have that ability. Um, and every one of us is different. Um, everyone have their own uh, purpose. Yeah? I I assure all of you here have your purpose. It's just a matter of uh, um, how we awaken to it, yeah? how we wake up and we realize that, you know, um, this is this is something which God is doing through us already. We are waking up to it, okay? All right. Uh, brother Anyone Julius, else? I forgot, brother, I forgot to mention one more uh... Hmm? Sister Vlaka was also there in the craft. Yeah, when she was mm-hmm. also there. Yes. I mean, there were many, but this is what I could uh, recollect because the short memory, I don't know. You, Dore, uh, Vlatka, Sister Vlatka, then uh, our uh, Saha, and Chulin. Others yeah. were there, maybe doing something else, I don't know. But when he was conveying the message to Jesus, he's so proud. Yes, they're all my boys. Mm-hmm. And I assume it's not just his five of uh, you know, what he's mentioning, mm. perhaps is this entire team that is there in this uh, quantum ascension uh, group. Each one has a has a role to play, as Brother Julius says. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, and uh, it's very significant that uh, Jesus Christ is there. Lord Jesus Christ, He is amazing. His cross, uh, the crucifixion, uh, for for it to be in the craft is also very significant because. Um, there is a call for sacrifice. There is a call for letting go. There's the call for surrender, uh, and he embodiments all of that. Yeah. And when when he uh, appears in the craft, he is taking upon himself uh, this uh, entire uh, works of uh, sacrifice, uh, forgiveness. Yeah. He took upon himself. So. And, and and we know that the craft is a monad. Yeah? For his presence to be there is considered um, he has done it for us. Yeah? And this is what the teachings of, uh, of, of the churches because uh, Jesus really did it for everyone. Yeah? So when, when he, he shows himself as, as the one on the cross, um, we are already, you know, Manifesting that, yeah, we are manifesting that side of us. Yeah? So after that, he wore the robe, the white robe, right? And this is also very significant because the white robe uh, signifies the Christ consciousness. Yeah? So Christ consciousness was available for us in that craft, and all of us have been into the craft, and we do have affinity with it. We have destiny with it. We have energetic connection with it. We know people who have gone in it. 
and you yourself have gone inside. So your uh, identification to this monad is very strong. And, and when we call for oneness like this, where all of us are light, all the more, yeah, all the more we are, we are experiencing this even now, yeah, and, and this thing about timelessness, uh, please, uh, I'm going to be, be, be talking a lot about it because there is really no time here. Actually, it's happening now. Everything is happening now. But uh, from the Earth's plane to exit towards uh, timelessness, there are uh, time <laughs> because it needs to have an opening. Okay, It needs to have a... a like a lock, you know, the lock is, is unlock, 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 and, and all of a sudden you have few layers of unlock and you have this uh, portal out, okay? So we have been very uh, blessed to have uh, access to quite a few of these portals. And now since we have uh, uh, gone there a few times, I think this portal is somewhat... Um, open yeah if swami if swami bless definitely we can go yeah okay yeah maha avatar babaji is the himalayas energy it's christ consciousness is very much a maha avatar if you all know the stories you will know that they are very connected okay uh sister vladka are you there Yes, yes, I'm here. Yes, okay. Hello. Now, would you like to share some of your experience yesterday? And also you can add on to, uh, you know, what we have, we did over there in the, in the craft. On, you know. And also what you want to say about the, the upgrade. Hello, we can't hear you. Are you talking? No sound coming. Whoa. Sister Vladka, we can't hear you if you are speaking. Okay, you need to tune in more, yeah? We can't hear you. Hello, do you hear me now? Okay, we can hear you now. Okay, so for me, uh, it's a little bit hard to share it because this is how I see and how I operate day, I cannot even explain. <laughs> Sometimes I just see like uh, what I need to see, but usually the what is happening, it's it's other level, other perception. So, I, I yeah, I, I was uh, very very strongly cool that we start creating the new reality. So those are open to the light and uh, uh, that we start creating the, the new earth, the new planet, the new way of living, the new dimension. And you also tell me this about the Ashtar. I so resonate with this, uh, how they are teaching us uh, to think because uh, those who will not resonate with this reality, they will have problems, like they will face many, many difficulties. So we need to resonate uh, on this new vibration, what is coming. So the new way, do you hear me? Is it uh, everybody's hearing me? Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so the, 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 uh, the, the like um, what, what means by heart? It's also what we are creating for our brothers and for sisters and for ourselves. So the new relationships with animals, the new relationships with plants, chemical-free food, chemical-free cosmetics, uh, chemical-free free planet, uh, then uh, more healthier and uh, 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 medical system. So many things which we, which higher vibration will ask from us to do it. We create differently and find a way. So now we are downloading this. Now we are becoming aware that we can live differently. So there are still 
possibilities because this is a planet of uh, free will. So there are still possibilities that some people will, would like to choose struggling, problems, drama, pain, you know, and we need to uh, give them time that they do the shift and if they decide like this, but it is possibility. So like everything what we need to do as a light, we need to get, give focus in the things uh, which uh, we want to create. Like uh, Julius was saying, don't uh, go uh, against those who are not eat, uh, who are eating meat. Just uh, bless those who are not eating, uh, who are creating different reality, who are not killing animals to feed themselves. So this is the way. So for everything. So our focus should be to give more power and empower those who are doing what we want to create and practice to be light so uh i don't know how to i'm also i have lots of challenges the where i didn't i need to manifest everything what i'm saying i really have on daily basic basis like everything what i'm saying I'm, i need to manifest so when uh, you have uh, the dark part of yourself and um when you are dealing with negativity, uh, you just need to be light. This is the only way what is working now. <laughs> you just need to see yourself emitted light with no thoughts, thinking, sending, nothing. This is the only thing which is work, working for me now. Uh, this is one thing. And when we were on craft, we were creating so the new reality for our plan. So this portal 1111, it's also the... 11, 11, 11, 11, it's not only synchronicity, it's also the immediately manifestation. So whenever you see 11, 11, it means be careful what you are thinking, you are manifesting. This is the very powerful uh, uh, frequency of manifestation. So we were all trying to do the best for the planet uh, to send uh, uh, what we are creating, that uh, there is no more competition competition that the people love each other support each other they are there for each other uh, uh, we have peace with animals we 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 are searching the new way of uh, feeding ourselves we have uh, free sources of energy uh, we learn to eat differently so many things we can create uh, only by our thoughts and uh, from the point of eyes of god okay and nothing was wrong from previous experience so that we can forgive and that we can let it go uh, that we go out of the state of judgment we need to understand that nothing was wrong with that point of view of god which we were manifesting until now this was just some part of the game okay the, we, until now this is like uh, you know, we were you you are in kindergarten and you are playing one type of game. Okay, you are playing. So now we are playing another game. We have possibility to create uh, another game, uh, which is as for us and and support from uh, uh, from universe. And usually nobody is interrupt. Like usually uh, masters and everybody uh, is giving us free will that we experience what we want to experience. Only they interrupt when it will be too much for other universes and, or, or it will be like uh, something very, very uh, bad. I, this is how I see that they will never interrupt if it's not something urgent and not needed. Yeah, this is from my point of view, what, what I... And uh, um, to see through eyes of God, it's uh, like uh, this, it's, it's uh, new for me and I, I'm very clear in this now how everything is one, no? So everything is you in, in, in a different stage of uh, consciousness. So I, I had this experience and it's amazing. Like mm, everything is me. So every time when I want to judge and be, you know, or angry or something, uh, I just remember, oh, this is me also. So, uh, and I uh, go even in, in more, more with love, like, uh, this nursing thing, this mother things, uh, like how you want to treat your child or how you want to treat everybody.
That doesn't mean that, of course, but uh, with more and more cleaning, this uh, I, I already okay. Do you hear me now? Okay. Hello, yes, 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 yes. okay. And okay. Sorry. now, uh, your connection is very bad. Uh, it sounds like you um, the other drink. part like uh, that we can receive more light yes yeah today internet is very bad wait i i really have this disruption i just want to try my... hello do you hear me could you, re could you rewind do you hear me now yes now could we you are rewind a few you. minutes could you rewind a few minutes uh, I was just saying uh, the last things which I was saying. I was saying uh, how I see this uh, oneness from the point of I uh, from the God eyes. Yeah, it was given to us to see the reality from uh, uh, different eyes. So how we are one in different states of consciousness. So. Uh, I understood why S Swami wants to help us because uh, uh, this is uh, you in another uh, state of awareness, in the state to our self love and light. Uh, so I was sending to myself in another state of consciousness, light and love. I, I experienced this. So, uh, for example, now you are receiving light, and this is me i'm receiving light and this is me from higher state so i saw this higher state how it's sending light and i saw myself down how i'm receiving with the lower state of uh, uh, awareness so this point mm. of uh, be the one which is swami and every every teacher everybody saying this they all speak about this only the, uh, the, that you need to understand what that once means and that is only one okay only one with different state of consciousness or existing or living or uh, and uh, uh, when you realize uh, that everything is god then you are in this state of togetherness but uh, if you are living separately in your own awareness then you feel separation and then you cannot connect with this oneness so this i experienced in in craft i it was shown to me like that uh, Julius, I uh, like to share yesterday's experience of me. Sure, please do. Uh, so, uh, at first, uh, I have seen the message. Uh, I have somehow seen Facebook message and just played that uh, video and was listening. And some work came up uh, with uh, Kanda Rama Rama Japam, and I was talking with that, and I am uh, installing something. And uh, nothing was working. <laughs> it's a uh, total uh, stop, that work. And again, I happened to see the message and that 1111 click. That was sent, uh, when it was sent, I don't know. Just by seeing that 1111, I just entered into the uh, Zoom session. And after that, uh, I was seeing your messages like Sai is one, uh, continuously scrolling. It, uh, I have, it felt like I was strongly pulled into that uh, space. Uh, <laughs> that's what uh, I felt. And I, even uh, you are saying that it was written me, I'm feeling that Jesus, and uh, I'm, uh, and uh, after that, uh, I'm seeing that uh, all of us are uh, being the light bodies, and there is a hand, and uh, I kept my hand into that hand, and as for me, hand. And after that, all I could see all the light bodies uh, like holding each other hands, one other to other. They're holding each other hands. I'm also the part of that. And uh, we are sending that uh, uh, light to the Mother Earth. And uh, I am seeing that uh, it is. Uh, it is very powerful energy, uh, which I have, it's like, 
I couldn't uh, resist or something. It is very powerful which uh, dragged me into this. And I'm able to see all our, uh, 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 holding our hands and uh, spreading this light. Uh, that's what. Uh... Thank you. <clears throat> this craft is so incredible. It has viewing gallery. I think those who have uh, come on board to Shambhala, it was revealed. That's the first time I saw that viewing gallery. And uh, I was so amazed by it. And the last eclipse, also the viewing gallery was there. Uh, I, I got a few of my friends inside also, so that you know they can witness this. Um, and also yesterday, you are watching from the viewing gallery, Ramadev. So you're able to okay. win. Otherwise, energetically, it's very strong. Right? You cannot hold it. Sometimes you can, uh, you can warm it and you can feel very disoriented. Yeah. All right. It's um, moving my uh, body energetically. That was uh, so much of energy. It's, not, uh... it's very tremendous energies. See, this is this is something which uh, very phenomenal that Swami has done. Uh, um, he has pretty much, if you were to research on the Great Solar Flash, it is a very uh, um, uh, feared upon energy because it, it it can knock knocked off power lines and it has the ability to to cause a lot of uh, um, a mess in our system, okay, inside and outside. So now uh, Swami, uh, with all his grace and mercy, um, taken upon himself pretty much, yeah, quite, quite a bit of this, like the negative effects of the solar flash and uh, the positive effects, he wants us to benefit. So he's like, you know, go, 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 get it. <laughs> so, um, and this is very, very much needed because uh, this great solar flash needs to be uh, digested by everyone um, because it will be the, the, our future. Our future self will be uh, um, solar flash system, it will be part of our DNA. It will be part of uh, our molecular structures, so we need to be able to to uh, take it in and and digest and and be comfortable. Okay, be comfortable. And and this great solar flash is very selfless. It's very uh, um, giving. It's always uh, it's like the sun, right? It's like a ray. So uh, we are pretty much uh, waking up. To, to to this uh, uh, ability to be like the sun. Okay. Yeah, we were sun. We were a small sun. But now uh, he wants us to be uh, unconditional 360 degrees sun. Love all, serve all. He wants us to be uh, uh, embodiment of love also one. And he has shown us how to do it. Yeah. He, he, he himself, he is that one, <laughs> which all of us are trying to do now. Okay. So when you come to, when we come together like this, uh, uh, in, in this craft, we are already this one. We are already this one. Okay. So that's how we, we uh, the crew members are being guided to do. They have been somewhat uh, uh, groomed by Swami to, to be like this, to be empty, to, to have this uh, strong brotherhood uh, uh, connection, oneness. Yeah, this is Swami has been uh, nonstop yeah, every day is telling us what to do. So that unity is so important. And from that space, the 11-11 portal uh, base, the great solar flash came. And Swami was there to bless us. And the message that was uh, 
uh, told to us was shine this light upon the earth and create create the most beautiful world you can ever think of that's what he told us so we started creating all of us i said you know some of them started uh i can read to you some of it <laughs> okay uh full of flowers fruits vegetables animals all in harmony love amazing technology flying cities floating you know, the list went on okay this is free energy for everyone uh, everyone is happy so everyone all the crew members was just thought word and deed see verbalize and feel so continuously doing that because the light was so tremendous it just comes true right <laughs> lots of light lots of uh, yeah so it went on and on yeah this is uh, our most beautiful uh, uh, version of the earth okay and i think all of you can do this also because you you are you have affinity with this cosmic craft and this cosmic craft has been going up and down and it, energetically it's high and if all of us can uh, start envisioning the earth to be a, a utopia a paradise where you know all are like beings every being is unconditional they speak with feelings rather than just verbalizing you know uh you connect you telepathy you teleport yourself you can manifest you are all everyone is divine if all of us can 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 do this when the solar flash comes it will just happen and this this is the call this is the call of a lot of uh, uh spiritual uh, uh societies which are connected to the galactic federation they that's the message uh, it, this morning i saw everyone should hold hold the vision they said how is that when everyone is called to hold a uh, 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 utopia version of the earth by the masters yeah so that means there's something uh something very uh uh urgent is happening <laughs> okay so we have to play our part yeah play our part in this all right do we have any questions or sharings i just like to say um mm -hmm. when you said to us to get onto the cosmic craft i had i was in two minds because i know that it was it was meant for vikash but then he said no mm. just go on to the craft and mm. we activated our antakarna and we went we came onto the craft and at one point you had mentioned i don't know if it was yourself or or sister blackta saying you know send love to the animals and the you know to everything that you can and you know as i was doing that my my hands were tingling and this and the, you know this a golden deer kept appearing and i was telling vikash and vikash is saying he can see swami and i was like i can only see this golden uh -huh. deer you know and we were having this conversation and he's saying no i can see swami and he's turning into madhu and he's turning back into swami and i'm like i can only see the golden deer you know and it was really awesome the energy was very very powerful we had um the uk europe russia station going on at the same time and we were hosts so we couldn't even you know say anything on the while we were doing but it was so amazing because we had the 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 alma mater singing radha krishna bhajans and we were on this and it was just so synchronic you know the synchronicity of it was just awesome so yeah thank you
uh, when you say it's like uh, your Sita Ram, <laughs> you are saying <laughs> Golden Deer, and uh, he's asking to see Ram. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. I need to stop looking at outside and look inside. Attracted by the Golden Deer. <laughs> See, from this space, all is divine. Yeah? This is very crucial because Swami wants us to be embodiment of divinity, nothing else. He doesn't want any other uh, intrusion, any other impressions, because we are uh, playing, playing a very crucial role because uh, whatever the uh, uh, impressions that kind of flow through us, if you don't see it as divine, you are you are feeding it, yeah. So if you see it all as divine, it's fine, because um, everyone everything is divine, and we are playing that role of being divine beings. And it's a very crucial role at this point in time for the cosmos, because I have told this before. And I'll just tell it again. There's a war going on up there. <laughs> okay, there's two, there's clash going on. And, and Swami is raising the flag. Swami is bringing in the new world order. He's bringing in the new, uh, um, uh, the light, new light for the universe. That's why this is uh, watched by so many civilizations, this entire phenomenon now. Uh, so there's a lot of cooperation, a lot of correlation happening on the ground. Um, people are receiving the messages in such perfect synchronicity and uh, oneness. Um, and, and, and the messages are coming through in such uh, clarity. Yeah. So it's really, really, this is what you call the great awakening. This is the great awakening that we are, we are in now with the sequence. Okay, thank you for sharing that. I'm glad you you survived that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm glad I didn't go after the golden deer. I uh, wonder what would be if I came back. <laughs> <laughs> then I will have to come down. <laughs> okay, how about yours, brother? Myself. Um, yeah, again, we were in the middle of our, or, or towards the end of the UK Europe uh, Rudram session, and it was just a beautiful divine experience. I saw the message to get on the craft. I said, well, let's just go. There's nothing to think, and let's just get on. <laughs> so immediately, in my mind's eye, just, we just got on onto the craft. And at the same time, I was busy doing stuff because, you know, we were hosting the session and stuff, and Alma Mata were were singing the beautiful, beautiful bhajans, the uh, the Radha Krishna bhajans, and they were just so divine. And we had the two side by side, the two devices side by side. We had um, their, their songs uh, blaring out, and on the other side, we had the other, the meditative music and, and your messages going on on the other, on the other device. Um, and to have them both side by side was just, it was just amazing. It just felt so amazing. It felt felt so beautiful. It felt like uh, Alma Mart were actually singing out in space, and the vibrations were going out and emanating all the way out in space. Um, for me, I I wasn't too concerned that I was doing stuff as well. I, I, I mean, I, you know, one one part of me wanted to just be still, close my eyes, and go within, and the other side was like, well, I still need to do this. I'm we're still hosting. We still need to say a few words. We still need to do stuff. So again, I let go of that and I just allowed it to be and, and got on with whatever I had to do. But at the same time, there was a definite uh, presence and energy um, in my hands, especially um, some tingling. And in terms of visualization, yes, I mean, I felt that we were all standing like in a circle and Swami was coming past like an inspector looking at all of us. Um, yeah, circle. Yes, I can see that. Sorry? You saw that circle. as well? Yeah. In a circle, yes. In, a in circle. the circle. Yes, in a circle type formation. And he was just, just walking around looking at each of one of us, acknowledging each one of us. Um, and 
Now that is just beautiful. And it, and I was saying, Shilpa, look, whether it's real or unreal, who cares? Swami is with us. No, nothing can possibly happen. We are under divine protection. Nothing will happen. Swami is with us. That is the best thing about all of these experiences. Swami is with us. Just hold his hand and just go. It doesn't matter. <laughs> nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. We're fully, fully under the divine umbrella here. Um, because, of course, there is some, uh, at some level, there's some skepticism about whether this is the mind or this, whether this is really happening or if this, this is happening in the heart space or mind space. You know, all of those things are sort of sort of happening at some level. Um, but at a deeper level, I'm just saying, well, just let go of it all and just hold on to Swami and just let it be. And let it allow it. Uh, and by and immediately by allowing it, that feeling happens. That the feeling, uh, you know, the, the vibratory feeling, the the energetic feeling happens, and we just allow the energy, the light, just to flow through us, and whatever healing to happen to allow that to happen. The message I was getting from from Swami was just love, 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 and, and unity. And and when you said, imagine or visualize how you'd like the earth to be. And, you know, I was visualizing a beautiful, beautiful earth and an earth in which everyone was living in some unity. There's no more this friction. There's no more this uh, guns, violence, arguments. Everyone was living consciously with the full awareness that we are all one. And it was really that unity which, which stood out for me and what, what Swami was speaking, the love and the unity. Yes. That's how I saw the future world. Sarah. Me too. Me too. Same. Yes. Okay, these experiences are available for all of you. Okay, just don't feel that you know you have missed anything. Don't worry. There's no coincidence that you all are here. The cosmic crop is very big. It has a garage downstairs. There's a car inside, and there is a huge place. Uh, these are all. Uh, uh, um, work which uh, which is needed to be done and i think uh, it is so um so meaningful uh, why some of you might be thinking why us yeah there's so many uh, masters outside there are so many disciples you know and all uh, why why us well um maybe we all don't maybe you all underestimate uh, know what what have been your progress, but uh, you know, and you know, Swami has been telling this, expounding and telling about seva, telling about love, telling about seeing God in all and manifesting the love. And I think as a monad, uh, even in the Sai Council monad, we have progressed a lot, a lot all of us. And, and there is a, a, a very uh, dignified, uh, a manifestation of love. Uh, Swami somehow guided and put us into some very high standard actually. Yeah? So you can see that there's a lot of uh, service organizations, uh, foundations outside, they, they really look uh, at the side movement as a very, uh, you know, respectful and orderly and disciplined uh, group of people. Uh, very devoted and selfless. So, so these energies which is manifesting now uh, in, in in a lot of you uh, is uh, Swami's testimony in the cosmos. <laughs> okay, we need to, you know, he he's uh, he's the Vishwa Rupa. Yeah, so he is the cosmic being, and he. And, and there is some cosmic phenomena happening. There is some very important cosmic events which a lot of people know on Earth, which they are uh, many are studying, many are, are, are realizing, and, and many are awakening to. So definitely, uh, Swami will have a cosmic craft. And not only one, a fleet of cosmic crafts. I'm not surprised. By one, two months, we might have, we already have seven, but it's not full-fledged flying yet. Only one is very active. Yeah? All the, the rest of the seven, they are more, mostly on the earth plane. They have not taken up uh, out of the spheres of the earth yet. 
the very utterance of uh, Vishwarupa is uh, activating the Markava. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so sorry, yeah. I totally forgot again. Today is uh, Brother uh, Kukusami is here. We are going to conduct this class. Uh, okay. Devi Mahatmanyam, right? Is it Kukusami, yes. sir? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, everyone, for coming on board. We will meet again tomorrow. Every day we have this session. And we will talk more about it. Huh? There's a few crew members who came in actually wanted to share, but uh, we'll do it. We'll save it for tomorrow. Om Sairam. Om Sairam. Thank you. Om Sairam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sairam. Sairam. Thank you, Sairam.